What is up? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I am going to be talking about the silver bullet short that I caught yesterday. Um, I'm not trading today because it is Thanksgiving. So if you're from America, happy Thanksgiving. Um, but yeah, let's jump straight into the video. Now I'm going to be explaining what the silver bullet is first. So if you're unfamiliar with this trading strategy, then hopefully um, this will help. So once you are, there are three or four steps when you are looking for the silver bullet trade. The first um, step and the most important is the time frame. So you want to make sure that it is the silver bullet is either from 10 a.m. New York time to 11 a.m. So UTC minus five the New York time. Or you want to make sure it is 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. Um, New York time. So these are the times that you can use the strategy and trade the strategy. Now, once you are in these time frames, what you can look for is the first thing is displacement. So you need to look for, I mean, sorry, that's the second step. The first thing that you need to look for is for price to target opposing liquidity. So price to target opposing liquidity. That is the second step. So all that means is, let's say for example, here we have price trending upwards. It has took buy side liquidity here. Therefore, my silver bullet will be to the short side. Um, so yeah, so obviously the short sell side liquidity would be opposing um, liquidity. So once you have your opposing liquidity marked and you have your um, your target in mind, what you can wait for is displacement. Now all displacement means is displacement. Now all displacement is is just a sharp, fast um, moving candle that shows willingness to want to go in one direction. So. Uh, sorry about my nose as well, I've got a bit of a cold. So, for example, right here. If we are looking at these candles here, see how these are string displacement candles going in the opposite direction to the um, short-term buyer. So, right here we have this big up move, then we have these down candles going um, towards the downside, which would be our displacement candle. And also, if you look at the time, this is where price turns from um, 159 to 2 and then this is where 2 to 3 so this is our time that we trade the macro and the reason for this is this is the time that we like to look for reversals um, after lots and lots of back testing um, 10 to 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. is the main time that we like to see price go for the opposing liquidity that is why um, this is extremely important with this strategy so once you get the displacement what is most likely going to happen is there's going to be a fair value gap that is created so as you can see right here this is the fair value gap and that comes to the final point which is a fair value gap to be created and traded into so that is your four main things that you need to look out for. If you have these steps, then you can trade the silver bullet. And after a bit of practice, this is an extremely easy and quite mechanical strategy that you um, can master and definitely trade yourself. So if you're uncommon with what a fair value gap is, all a fair value gap is is when there are three candles. So let for example. If you count three candles and the first and the third candle don't touch together. So here, for example, where I've joined this box, as you can see, we have these three candles. So let me just label them for you. This is number one. Then this is number two here. And then this is number three. And as you can see, our first and third candle do not touch. So this wick here 
from the first candle does not meet the candle or the wick of the third candle and as you can see there is a gap here so this gap is called a fair value gap or a price imbalance now all it means is there's there's just a gap in the market an imbalance in the market where price has not filled yet so um, there is a high chance that price actually wants to come back tap into this or at least fill this price um, this fair value gap and imbalance before carrying on into its designated um, way that the market wants to travel now with the fair with the fair value gap and the silver bullet strategy you want to make sure that you're taking the right fair value gaps and most importantly you want to make sure that you are following the right trend and it is easy to get caught up trade just trade in the first fair value gap you see for example we have a bit of displacement here and we have a fair value gap taken to the upside as you can see so we have this bullish fair bullish candle creating a bullish fair value gap but this would not be our silver bullet trade and the reason for that is because it is a bullish fair value gap and we do not have a bullish bias because um, we have already took out our most recent buy side liquidity and if you look at the charts we still have a lot of sell side liquidity left from earlier in the day and also we have higher time frame confluence so all our um all of our confluences are showing us to the downside and actually if you watch my youtube video from yesterday and if you just skip to the end of it if you haven't watched it already i say at the end of the video i'm going to be looking at a for a silver bullet short i say i'm going to look for a short to the downside because we had already took all of the um, sell side liquidity so I wanted a nice short to the downside um, yeah I'm pretty sure I marked this fair value gap so I said something like this I want to see a move to the downside but I didn't end up taking that I waited for 2 p.m. because that is the time that retracements and the silver bullet works um, so yeah I hope this video did help um, I'm currently trade live in a Discord every single day uh, for free. I just show people what I'm trading and I talk through my analysis. So if that is something that you are interested in, go to the link in the description and join my free Discord where I live stream every day. And make sure you um, follow my Instagram. So thank you for watching this video.